Welcome to the French's Forest NAPLAN Data Parent Session 2019, presented by MJ Broomfield and Matt Phillips. A bit of context. NAPLAN results give us a point-in-time snapshot of the performance of our Year 3 and 5 students across five learning domains – reading, writing, spelling, grammar and punctuation, and numeracy. As NAPLAN provides just one piece of data in each of these areas for an individual student, Class teachers remain the best source of information if you want a fuller picture of how a student is performing. As a school, what is most valuable to us is looking at trends over time to either affirm that we are on the right track or inform us that we need a change in direction. NAPLAN is one of the sources we use to measure our effectiveness through our school plan. We have to be mindful focusing on one individual year and the conclusions we draw as there are many influencing factors and each cohort of students varies in the abilities and attitudes they bring to their learning. The introduction of online NAPLAN means we have to treat the results with even more caution as the transition process happens. This year, 52% of schools sat the NAPLAN online, up from about 18% last year. The original plan was for all schools to do NAPLAN online in 2020, but that has now been pushed back to 2021. At French's Forest, we are ready to transition when need be but are cautious while there are still potential issues with the online testing and especially given there is a review into NAPLAN currently taking place, which is expected to be finalised mid-next year. School strategic directions. Successful students. We want our students to be developing more confidence in literacy and numeracy and improved NAPLAN results over time. That is one of our targets to show we are being effective. Improving practice. This direction focuses on teacher development in order to create the best possible learning environments for students. NAPLAN can give us some indication of how we are performing in this direction. Shared expectations. Our aim is for all stakeholders, parents, teachers, administrative staff and students to develop shared, high expectations around student learning and well-being. Sources of variance in student achievement. What are the biggest sources for the variance in the results students attain? According to the educational researcher John Hattie, the biggest factor is the students themselves, which accounts for about 50% of variance. The correlation between ability and achievement is high, so brighter students, unsurprisingly, have a steeper learning trajectory. Our role in schools, however, is to improve the trajectory of all students. The second biggest factor is teachers. What teachers know, do and care about accounts for about 30% of the variance in student scores which comes back to why we as a school place such an emphasis on teacher development, because although we cannot improve a student's innate ability, we can improve our ability to teach and support students in their learning. Other factors that make up the remaining 20% include the school, the principal, home effects, which are mostly related to levels of expectation and encouragement, and peer effects. As you can see from this, which school you choose and who students mix with do have an impact, but they are not all that significant. One thing that is important to recognise, though, is that all these factors can impact on one another, which comes back to why we have made one of our school's strategic directions to develop shared high expectations. Individual student reports. The information available to parents about NAPLAN typically comes in two forms, the individual student report and cohort data, which can be found on the My School website. It is worth noting that there is another review underway looking at how data is presented on the MySchool website with the possibility that it may change in the future. It is typically available to view about a year after the tests take place. However, there are suggestions from the review taking place that the data unhelpfully leads to comparisons between schools rather than focusing on improvements that individual schools are making, especially in light of the Hattie research previously mentioned. Using this sort of data to compare schools can be very misleading. Here is an example of an individual student report. From this report you can see how the child has performed in relation to their cohort at school, the state year level cohort, and where they sit in relation to the middle 60% of students across each of the domains. As a school, we have access to far more data on how the cohorts have performed and the trends over time, which is what we will spend the rest of this morning going through. Premier's Priority In 2015, there was a Premier's Priority announced to increase the proportion of New South Wales students in the top two bands of NAPLAN reading and numeracy by 8%. 
the goal is now to make that 15% by 2023. This chart tracks the percentage of students at French's Forest in the top two bands from 2015 to 2019. As you can see, we've seen growth from 23% in that time. We've also managed to see four consecutive years of growth, which in itself is an incredible accomplishment. We do have to be careful moving forward as obviously this sort of growth is impossible to maintain, but as we peak, we will aim to then sustain those levels moving forward. School growth, year three to five, 2019. The first five charts show us how our year five students have developed from year three in comparison to the state and also the similar schools group, which is comprised of a group of schools considered equivalent to ours in terms of their circumstance. The graphs show that we outperformed the state and the similar school groups in four out of the five domains. The bottom row is similar. Each student is set an expected growth target based on their Year 3 NAPLAN score, and these graphs show the percentage of students who meet their expected growth. On this, we outperformed the state on four of the five domains and our similar schools group in three of the five domains. It is worth noting just how well we have done in reading growth over the past two years. In last year's NAPLAN, we were recognised as one of 60 schools in the state out of 3,136 in New South Wales to achieve substantially above average gain in reading or numeracy. The following graphs show scores over time. The blue line represents our school, the black represents similar schools, and the red line represents the state. Reading Year 3, Reading Year 5, Writing Year 3, Writing Year 5, Spelling Year 3, Spelling Year 5, Numeracy, Year 3. Numeracy, Year 5. The following graphs show bands over time. There has been a positive trend. In 2019, you can see that we've had the highest percentage of students achieving the top two bands across all domains. This is the year three graph. This is the year five graph. This graph shows scaled scores over time for students who've moved into Year 7 in high school. We do receive information about students who've moved into Year 7. This graph shows scores over time. In reading, the current Year 7 students have scored the highest scaled score over the last nine years. In writing, they've scored the second highest, third in grammar and punctuation, and third highest in numeracy. Our ongoing plan. There are a number of things we as a staff take from these results as well as looking at research and applying common sense that we need to continue to do moving forward. Keep knowing our students better. Applying K-6 consistency has led to teachers having a better understanding of where students are coming from and where they are going in their learning. Staff have moved around this year which has also helped. Across the whole school we have implemented K-6 maths programming K-6 spelling programming, a K-6 grammar and punctuation scope and sequence, consistency with reading assessments, a consistent and thorough learning support program with consistent identification processes, teacher professional learning, 
more evidence-informed decision-making, and building a collective responsibility between all stakeholders. Thank you for joining us for our NAPLAN Parent Session, created by Matt Phillips and MJ Broomfield, narrated by MJ Broomfield. For further information, feel free to email us at the email addresses on the screen.